here's 10 open world games tested on Switch emulator for Android. Hey everyone, back again with another video. Today we're going to revisit these heavy open world games I tested in 2024. I will give my thoughts on these games if these are playable or not for now. So if you're interested, kind of stick to the video. Also, if you're having a hard time running these games on the emulator, I will give some recommendations and maybe some of the best settings for these games to run. I will be using my Lenovo Legion Y700 2023 with 8 plus Gen 1 chipset and 12 gigs of RAM. Alright, before we start, I will give the general setup for this test. I will be using Sudachi emulator, link will be in the description below. I test all these games undocked 720p resolution and running on native code execution. I also tick this shader cache and use asynchronous shaders to on. For our first game, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. This game runs quite decently in the emulator. It runs around 20 to 30 FPS most of the time. But rendering is still not perfect, especially those character shadows not rendering at all. For this game to boot, you need firmware 17 and turnip drivers. I tested it with the latest turnip driver R7 and it works fine. Also, you need to set GPU accuracy level to high to prevent ghosting in-game. Additional tip to run this game at better frame rates, don't update the game to 1.03. Just use the base version since base version runs better based on testing. <laughs> Batman Arkham Knight. Straight away, this is not playable for me. You'll have random crashes here and there and FPS is not that too great, especially on heavier areas. I tested this with Turnip R7 as well as older ones, set graphics accuracy to high, but performance is still the same. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This has still those random freezes, but in my own opinion, this is a playable experience. I use Turnip R7 with graphics accuracy set to high. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Man, oh man, this game is totally playable. I haven't experienced any major issues with this game and I have a lot of playtime with this game actually. So I can really say that this is a playable and fun experience. Just make sure you have external cooling for this game if you plan to play for long sessions since this has a somewhat relatively high power consumption at around 10 to 12 watts but if you have an external cooler you're good to go i run this game with turnip drivers the latest r7 will work just fine and just leave graphics accuracy to normal Hold on. No Man's Sky. This version that I test is with the world's update. Alright, this is not a stable experience. You'll have frequent crashes, a lot of graphical glitches, and FPS is pretty low. I use Turnip drivers and set graphics accuracy to high.
The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Well yes, this is playable. FPS is stable at 30 most of the time. But I only have one issue with this game. The lighting flickering issue is still present with 7 series GPUs. But you'll only notice this indoors especially in caves or dungeons in game. These also have a relatively high power consumption at around 10 to 12 watts. So a cooler will be recommended. Alright, obviously you'll need turnip drivers with this game. R7 will work also just fine. And just set graphics accuracy to normal. Also you'll need a lower version of Zedachi emulator since the latest 1.0.12 as of filming has no audios in game. Yakuza Kiwami This performs decently with playable FPS most of the time. Though you'll notice some FPS drops in some areas, especially with those a lot of NPCs on the screen or in some heavier areas in general. Just use turnip drivers and set graphics accuracy to normal. Red Dead Redemption Personally, I don't expect this game to run better with the latest turnip drivers or with GPU drivers improvements alone. What we need is a new improvement in the emulator itself on the core specifically with the rendering and stuff like that. But with the current state of Android emulation for Switch or in Switch emulation in general, I think we still need more time to get proper improvements. Alright, getting back to RDR, I run this game with turnip drivers and set graphics accuracy to high. But some additional tip if you really wanted to play this game on your Android with Switch emulators, I suggest you use Yuzu NCE version 1 since that emulator runs this game at decent frame rates. I can assure you that since I tested that way before and experience is quite impressive actually. But I do apologize since I can't provide you with any links to that emulator. Just go to the internet and just search some Yuzu NCE version 1 downloads or something like that. Just be wary with the links you download it since you may be at security risk or something. So yeah. You. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. Control that horse, will ya? I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Borderlands 3 To be honest, this game is not playable. You'll have frequent FPS drops, especially in heavier areas and some random crashes. I run this game with turnip drivers with GPU accuracy set to high. Last on this list is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This game performs decent, well yes, there are still graphical issues, especially those noticeable grid lines on the terrain and some incorrect colors on some assets. A bit playable, but personally, I don't think I will play this game at this state right now. Also, this game is pulling too much juice from my device, which is not recommended for long play sessions. Well yes, I'm using a cooler still but you can still see the P 
peak on my power consumption somewhat reaches 15 watts and my CPU and GPU temps are not on the safe levels. But if you want to, you can lower down in-game graphical settings. Also, you can lower down emulator resolution to whatever resolution you like, compromising graphical quality for performance. All right, I run this game with turnip drivers. With this test, I use R7 and just leave accuracy level to normal. So that's it for this video. Now if you enjoyed this video, kindly leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, a subscribe would be great. But don't forget to comment down your thoughts below and see you in the next one.